What's going on, moviegoers? If you're new to the channel, my name is Christian. Welcome to SeaWorld Productions. Boy, do we have some hot topics to talk about, you guys. I am so excited. We got the first look, the first reveal of the popcorn bucket for Deadpool and Wolverine, and it is literally blowing up the internet, you guys. It's been the talk of the town. A lot of people are excited about it. I know I'm going to be getting it. It is super exciting, you guys. Casting announcements, we got to dive deep into it. I hope you guys are all doing well on this glorious Friday. All right, you guys, starting off with the first topic, Bill Skarsgård is set to return as Pennywise the Dancing Clown in the It prequel, Welcome to Dairy, airing on Max streaming service next year. Thank the Lord, because there's no way you can do a Pennywise without Andy, not sorry, yeah, we'll talk about that too, but without Bill Skarsgård. He is so essential to the character, the way he portrayed the character in the first two It films, absolutely loved and adored his performance you guys he was terrifying he was creepy and you know those first two it films were fantastic i will never forget my experience watching that first it film you know in theaters I, it was crazy it, theaters were jam-packed i think i saw it three times everybody really adored that you know that first film chapter two got a lot of hate i don't know why yeah it was long but it, it was definitely in service of the film and the storytelling and you know going through the the other side of the the lens of being the adults i felt like the whole relationships with you know the the kids transitioning to adults were absolutely fantastic i thought you know the the adult actors were spot on i really loved it chapter two you guys those two it films will always have a special place in my heart you guys so I'm excited that Bill Skarsgård gets to come back and portray this character Pennywise again. It is going to be terrifying and I cannot wait. Hopefully we get another movie too. Like I'm down for more, you know, streaming services that can service more of the storytelling of, you know, Derry and, you know, but this character Pennywise, you know, I, I'm absolutely down. Even in chapter two, when we kind of got a glimpse of how he, you know, came to earth, like that's, that shit was interesting to me. I'm like, oh, give me more of that. So I'm really excited. But not only that, you guys, Andy Muschietti will direct four episodes of this prequel series. So he is involved. He has his hands in the pie, you guys, which is definitely more reassuring knowing that Andy Muschietti and, you know, Bill Skarsgård are both in the mix for this particular It prequel, you guys. And it will be a full season of nine episodes. So get ready, you guys. I can't wait. I can't wait for that first trailer. It is going to be a banger. Moving on to the next topic, you guys. Like I mentioned, we got the first reveal and it is in all of its glorious. The Deadpool and Wolverine popcorn bucket. I know Ryan Reynolds has been really thinking hard of how he can top the Dune popcorn bucket, and he absolutely did it. it, it you get to put all kind of butter in Wolverine's mouth on his face. It is hilarious. I mean, Ryan Reynolds is a marketing genius, and to do something like this, I mean, look, you got my money day one. You know, I, I what's the last time I bought a popcorn bucket? It's been a cool minute, but seeing this popcorn bucket, I'm like, oh, absolutely. You can take my $25 or $30, however, how much this, you know, this popcorn bucket is going to cost because I think it is just a brilliant, brilliant mind behind Ryan Reynolds and the whole marketing team. I can't wait for Deadpool and Wolverine, you guys. We are so close. Hope you guys got your tickets because if you haven't, you might want to get them sooner rather than later. But moving on to the next topic, you guys, returning to this topic, Giancarlo Esposito. Now, I did talk about one of my recent videos about how he was going to be in a next Marvel project film. Something along the lines how it could be Deadpool and Wolverine, and then it was going to be announced he was going to get his own Marvel Disney Plus series. Well, apparently, this is coming from Murphy's Multiverse, you guys. He will appear, not in Deadpool and Wolverine, but Captain America Brave New World next year. And this is what they had to say about his character. We still don't know. It's unknown as of right now. But betraying a character described as an antagonistic agent of chaos, whatever that means... It is going to be interesting. It has the fans online really trying to, you know, dissect who he could be playing in Captain America 4. I mean, he's in Captain America 4. They're currently doing reshoots right now in Georgia for Captain America 4, you guys. Please let the retooling service this film. It needs to be on the level of Winter Soldier. It needs to be on the level of Civil War. Kevin Feige, we trust you. So retooling is absolutely necessary, you guys. So I'm excited, you guys. John Carlos Esposito making his 
official debut in Captain America Brave New World next year. Moving on to the next topic, you guys. Chris Hemsworth is in talks to star in the brand new Transformers and G.I. Joe crossover. How interesting. He also, he's voicing Optimus Prime in Transformers 1, the animated film. Look, Chris Hemsworth is extremely hot. He's Thor. He does the, you know, the extraction stuff on Netflix. He was just in Furiosa. Why not? I, you know, the Transformers films have been hit and miss recently. Like, I enjoyed Bumblebee. And the last one wasn't terrible. I actually enjoyed it. Um, and, you know, they, they tease the whole, you know, G.I. Joe crossover. It's going to be interesting to see how they do that and handle that. But, you know what? I think that's a brilliant marketing scheme. And, you know, as of recently, I feel like Transformers has struggled. So, trying to do a crossover like that is massive. And apparently, Michael Bay is set to come back and produce. Look, I love that first Transformers film. That's still my favorite. You know, I grew up, that was, what, 2007? I remember seeing that shit in theaters. It was phenomenal. It was massive. We've never seen anything like that. You know what I mean? Seeing the whole Gears and, you know, Optimus Prime and Bumblebee. It was absolutely fantastic. So, Chris Hemsworth, I am down to watch you in a Transformers film. Absolutely. Moving on to the next topic, you guys. Oh, this is a big one. Mahershala Ali apparently is in talks to his star in Gar uh, Gareth Edwards' brand new Jurassic World Film. Now, this one's interesting. Scarlett Johansson is attached to this as well. She's already starring in it. Where does this put Blade? Because if they plan to release this particular film next year, when do they plan to shoot Blade? This is concerning. A lot of fans are believing right now that we are literally weeks or minutes away of the official announcement of you know Mahershala Ali stepping away from Blade and Blade, Blade being scrapped. Because if he's in talks to star in this Jurassic World film, where like what's going on with Blade? Like that that leaves me to believe that it's like, okay, well, Blade's not happening anymore. Kevin Feige, I am moving on. I have all these other roles that have been offered to me and I am going to accept them. I've waited long enough. It's been four or five years. Thank you guys. I appreciate the opportunity, but I'm moving on. That's what I feel like is happening. And I feel like it, it's going to be announced sometime sooner than later, you know, and it's really unfortunate because it sucks. Mahershala Ali is Blade, the Daywalker, you know what I mean? I it just, everybody was so highly anticipating that film, it, you know, it, with everything that, that, you know, is evolving around the film, how, how them struggling to come up with a, a very simple concept of Blade on the big screen is very frustrating. Look at, look at the concept of the first film. Deacon Frost, I want to destroy all the humans and I want to become a vampire god. And Blade's like, no, you shall not. I will stop you with my crew, me and Whistler. That's pretty much it, right? No, nothing too excessive, nothing crazy. But who knows what's going to happen, you guys. Mahershala Ali is in Jurassic World. How exciting. Okay, Mahershala Ali and Scarlett Johansson together. Ooh, that, that's a great combination. Moving on to the final topic, you guys. Wake Up the Dead, a Knives Out mystery. The third film out of the trilogy, you guys. We had Knives Out and Glass Onion. This one is interesting. Ryan Johnson is obviously coming back to direct. He's writing. He wrote this film. Daniel Craig will star. Jeremy Renner is now attached to this film. We also have Mila Kunis as well. Kerry Washington. Glenn Coase. And there's rumors that Tom Hardy and Lindsay Lohan might even star in this film as well. It is going to be hard to top Knives Out. I like Glass Onion. The ensemble was good, not great. Edward Norton was really, you know, he stole the show. I love Dave Bautista. But Knives Out with Chris Evans, Jamie Lee Curtis, Michael Shannon, Daniel Craig. Um, I'm missing some names. I'm missing some big names. Forgive me. Forgive me. Knives Out was still great. It felt like a live action clue we were watching in theaters. And I loved every single minute of it. Knives Out is one of my favorite films of all time. Ryan Johnson did an exceptional job with that. And, you know, even like I said, Glass Onion, I didn't necessarily like Glass Onion too much when I watched it. But then upon rewatch after rewatch, I was like, oh, I like this even more. And I, I definitely got more behind it. So, you know, Ryan Johnson right now is two for two. I cannot wait for this third film. Who knows if he's going to continue and keep doing these films. I mean, I'm down. I love these, you know, these thriller type movies. They're very, very interesting to me. They're fun. It has you, you know, leaves you on the edge of your seat guessing who's the murderer, who's killing who. You know, I, it's just, it's really, really fun, you guys. But that is the topics, you guys. That is today's video. Let me know what you think in the comments down below about the topics we discussed in today's video. And of course, thank you guys for taking time out of your day for watching Zero Productions. Peace.